quiet everybody, the press conference is about to begin. Hello everyone, um, thank you for coming to this uh, brief press conference here at Stockport County today. Uh, it's going to be brief, as you can see I'm about to jet off on my holidays, going to Miami Beach before my uh, busy summer starts. So, um, first question. Yeah, alright there Bude. Uh, it's Tommy Thompson from the Liverpool Echo. Now, apparently, you were saying in the press that if Liverpool ever offered you the job of manager and paid you a hundred million pound a week, you'd say no. Is that true? It's not necessarily true. If they paid me a hundred and one million pound a week, I might consider it. So, uh, yeah. next question. Alright, Bode, it's old man Stan, the county fan from the supporters club. Um, what about that offer of in me daughter? Do you want to? <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a married man, Stan. But uh, thanks for the offer. So, yeah, um, one, one quick final question. Yeah, the chap at the back, are you from the Stockport Express? Yes, it's John Johnson from the Stockport Express. Um, can we expect many transfers this summer? Uh, we expect you to strengthen, seeing as you've gone up a division. Yeah, I've got a lot of targets I want to sign. I've got a, a massive, massive shortlist. Uh, we're going to be busy. Uh, there's going to be a lot of players going out and there's going to be a lot of players coming in. I'm really excited about some of the players coming in. Uh, so I hope all you guys are too. I hope the fans are. Um, so yeah, really, that's that's it. Um, obviously, I've got to catch a plane. Your wife's waiting outside, and you don't want to mess with my wife. She'll uh, rip your head off. So enjoy your holidays. I'm going to enjoy my holidays, and I'll see you back at the start of the season. See you later. Hello and welcome to Season 2, Episode 9 of SOS Stockport County. Now I'm back off my holidays, been to Miami, I wish. Went to see Wolfie, um, he's trying to set up that Miami Vice save, but I uh, don't know what he's doing with that. Looks good though. Um, so I'm back and I've had a very busy summer. Um, as you can see, we've had some lots and lots of league competitions. Now I like to do this, I like to do this at any level because it creates money. Um, and I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing with them on. Anyway, so it creates money. So I've had a few tournaments against lower teams that hopefully would build a bit of confidence. But then I've just had teams against bigger clubs that I know, I know would get on TV because it, it puts money in the bank. You have over three days, there's six matches played. And obviously in summer, some of these tournaments, you've got Everton playing Crystal Palace at my stadium. So it's lots of, lots of games, lots of fans come in, extra money. Um, so yeah, there's, I've, I've had a busy summer, there's been lots of transfers, lots of players out, lots of players in, um, and lots of news to tell you about, so let's get to the first bit. Okay, the first bit of news, there was a board takeover. Steve Bellis, the guy who in real life I spoke to, is my friend on Facebook, um, he runs a club in real life. Um, he's took over now and became chairman, but in the game he wasn't too sure if he was going to keep me. So there was a while where I've only was, I was able to sign a few players at first, but there was a massive chunk that I wasn't able to because he wouldn't let me because he didn't know if he was going to keep my job. So there's still a few players I'd like to get and there was a bit of a time when I thought I might not have a job but he's let me keep it, we're moving on and he's invested He's invested into the club to be fair. He's put like, um, we've got another £2 million in the bank which is crazy. Um, also we're, we're now full-time, we're not a part-time club anymore, fully professional which um, that surprised me at the end of last season. But what I don't understand is they've put two million in the bank, they haven't given me any, any extra money to spend, and then he's just took a bank loan out for seven million. Now I'm, I'm guessing that was to buy the stadium for seven million quid. I mean, Ed, Edgley's a nice little ground, but if you've ever been there, it's not worth seven million pound. So I'm a bit baffled by all that, but I've still got a job. So yeah, here we are on the finance page. So yeah, he's, the board have they've taken over. Steve Bellis, I don't think he's that rich in real life, but so he's pumped money into my team. Not giving me any of it, 
Um, I've tried to upgrade my training facilities and my youth facilities and they won't let me do that either. So we've got two and a half million quid sat in the bank doing diddly squat. This is just a quick look at the bank loan. And there you go. Um, apparently we've got net debt of four and a half million. It's got to be for the state purchasing the stadium, surely. Um, but they've took a bank loan out for 7.2 million. So, yeah, happy times. Now, at the end of the season, it did say we had a lot of new sponsors. So I thought it'd be quite cool to change the kits. Get new kits and get a new sponsor. Now, in real life, ESEM are going to be Stockport County's um, sponsor going on for, going forward this next season. Um, the guy who owns this company is an actual Stockport County fan in real life. So I thought it'd be cool to get them on the shirts. And I like Adidas kits. So we've now we've left Joma and we've gone over to Adidas. So I've got a whole new kit range, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, just a new look for a new league and a new season. Okay. The transfers, I've had a lot of fun. Obviously, apart from the time I've had a... It was like three weeks, four weeks. They won't let me do anything. So I've still got the odd player I want to get, maybe on loan or a freebie. But let's have a quick run-through of the outs. So that's Gareth Roberts who's first. He's the old guy I had at left-back. Uh, Chris Small is the left-back who I didn't know who he was. Played last game in the season. Brody, striker's gone. Ledstrom's gone. He was in my reserves. Uh, Dale Tong, my backup right back, he's gone. Um, Coyote Adajayi, that's Mr. T, he's gone. Danny Hurst, Murray, Menage, Ellison, Joyce, Glenn Rule, Mika Evans, uh, and then two at the bottom, they were just there. They were in reserves. So I've not got any money in for these lads. A lot of them, the contract was running out anyway, so that I've just not renewed it. But let's get over to the ins. Now, before we run through the main list, there's just a few of them I quite like. So we're going to have a look at them. And while we're looking at them, we might have a cheeky photograph of uh, the director of football, Jim Gannon. You know, just after they sign the contract, shake your hands. Nice little touch. So yeah, Jake Hyde here is a target man, but he's also a good advance forward, can play poacher. He's got some good skills. He's got decent physicals. Um, he's had a great preseason, scored four in six. So, and he's only, I think he's only a young lad, he's only 26 years old. So, I feel like I've got two decent strikers now with, um, obviously, Christian Dennis and now I've got Jake Hyde. Next on the list is Ryan Hall, uh, my new left winger. Um, we're keeping Nathan Lascombe, but he's going to be my backup left winger. Ryan Hall is going to be my, my new left winger. I think for this level, he's quick. He's got some technical ability. He can pass, he can cross, he can dribble. He's determined. He's got good vision. Uh, a bit of flair. Next is Will Ameson, um, a centre half. Pretty tough with this guy. He's got all yellow in his physicals. Uh, 12 tackling, 11 marking, 11 positioning. He works hard as a team player. He's determined too. So, and he's only 22 years old. Got room for improvement. Another centre half is Jake Goodman. Um, also, I think he's a decent player for this level. He's 23 years old. He's got great potential ability, good current ability. He's got all the stats I was looking for. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with Jake Goodman. Now, with Tong leaving, because he was about 32, um, and Captain Connell is now, he's not the captain anymore, he's about 33. I wanted a, new, a young, good right back. A good right back for this level. And I think I found one in Connor Brown. Um, I think he used to play for Oldham. He's rapid for this level. He works hard. He can tackle. I think he'll be a good player. And last on my main list is Alexandru Ologu, um, a Romanian midfielder. But I think he's going to be a cracking midfielder. I think he's better than Fitz Magic. Um, so hopefully, I mean, he's had a good preseason so far. I'm hoping he'll do well for us. He's only 27. Now, I've also reloaned Q, Q Anza. Um, I think he was a great centre half. But he also plays in a defensive midfield role. So my idea for Q this year is mainly going to be for as a Lewis Montrose backup. It's Andy Tannoy. And I've watched the Dr. Benji series. So I kind of fell in love with him myself. And I know all about his free kick taking ability. So I've got him just for that. I mean, he can pass a ball. And he's a decent player, really. Okay, on the right-hand side, we've still got Bell Baggy. But, as you probably know if you watched my the first season... Bell Baggy frustrates me. Sometimes he's a world beater. Sometimes he does the most weirdest, stupidest things. So, I've got a new right winger. Who I think's okay. He's pretty quick here. She's got decent stats for a winger. Joe Thomas. 
Okay, next on the list is Ricardo Santos. Now, he came from my um, affiliate, my senior affiliate, Peterborough. But just after I signed him, we ended up with a new senior affiliate. So Peterborough are no longer my senior affiliate. and We've got Queen's Park Rangers now. But we've still got Ricardo, who's only young, 21. But, you know, he's got all the stars. He's, he's got some decent stats. So he's definitely going to be a good centre-half for me. My left back this season is going to be 16, almost 17-year-old Dave O'Leary. Um, that really decent player that we got in our youth intake. Um, he's only young, but I really believe, and I've done it before um, in other saves, where you give a young player a chance and you might not be successful instantly, but let them play. And honestly, you reap the benefits. So I'm going to take that risk with Dave, especially at this level. So, But I needed a backup, and I've just brought in Isaac here to uh, be cover basically at left back. Now, one of my best signings has to be Dean Henderson. I didn't think they were going to let us have him, but Man United have let us have him again for another 12 months. Today's live comp will be against Southport. Now, Southport are the team that knocked us out last year in the FA Cup fourth round qualifier. It was 0-0 at our place. We went back to their place. I think it was 1-1, went to extra time, and they broke my heart and beat us 2-1. So hopefully today, now we're in the same league, we'll have a chance to get revenge. Okay, here's today's team. Now I'm going with my usual tactic. Um, my shadow striker deep line forward tactic. Still playing exactly the same instructions, with oofing it and open. But I think we've got a bit more quality this year. I'm going to start at the back. We've got Dino in net. Big Dino, we all know him. I've got my new central defensive partnership, which I've got a lot of hope for this year. And that is Ameson and Goodman. Got my new right back, Connor Brown on the right. We've got young Dave O'Leary on the left. Monty is my uh, ball winning midfielder. Ologu, the new central midfield Romanian um, magician, hopefully, he's in the centre of the park. Up top, we've got Roberts in his usual role. Now, Christian Dennis, I'll be honest with you, I'm, having to, I'm going to drop him. I'm going to give Jakey Hyde a go because I think Jakey can do the same thing, but he can also play as a target man. He's a bit bigger. I think he might have that a little bit more quality in other areas. So Jake's going to be my starting striker this year. I love Christian Dennis and he will get some game time, but for now I'm starting Hyde. We've got a new, the new wingers as well. Thompson's on the right and we've got Hall on the left. So honestly, I am excited about this new team. I still hopefully will get another couple of players in the, in the next coming weeks. Now I can buy players again. Because honestly, it was only about two days ago that the uh, transfer embargo was lifted. So, I'm going to look into that. But this is today's team. Let's kick some ass. Now, team talk for today. We're away from home, but apparently, according to the press, we're the favourites. So, I'm just going to say, I'm going to calmly say, come on, lads, we're the favourites. So, just show me what you can do. New team, impress me, and let's do this. Stockport County versus Southport. Southport kickoff. A new season, a new team. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Get to see some new players. Roberts and Hyde now. Hyde on the ball. We're going at him straight away. A logo. Trying to find Thompson. Thompson looks like a right big lad. Brown on the ball. Brown back to a logo in the middle. Finds Roberts. Roberts lays it off to Thompson. Thompson. Oh, great shot. That was a quality save. But a you know, promising move straight away. Not even a minute gone. Hyde brings that ball down brilliantly. He's a big lad. He's got a bit more about him than Dennis, I reckon. So hopefully he'll do well for us this year. Ologu finds Thompson. Thompson has another shot. He's been looking dangerous on that right. Cutting in and getting on the ball and shooting. Hyde now. Hyde gathers. Lays it off to Ologu. But Southport defend it. But Goodman gets it back. Oofs it forward. Can Hyde get onto it? Oh, good save. Roberts and a rebound. Oh, another good save. Oh my God. Their keeper is an absolute legend. Roberts is in the centre, near the centre circle. He's cutting in. He finds Hyde. Hyde has a look. Goes back to Ologu. Ologu tries to get it forward. He finally gets it forward to Roberts. Roberts lays it off to Hyde. Can Hyde finish it? Oh, it deflects off a defender. That should be a corner ball. And it is a corner ball. I think it's Thompson to take it. Big Tomo floats it right out to the edge of the box. To Roberts. Brings it down. Shoots. Oh, over the bar. Goal kick. Hyde gathers it. Can he charge forward now? Oh, he's... Laid it forward to Thompson. Thompson now charging forward on the right hand side. Can he get a shot off? He does and he scores his goal finally. He's had a couple of chances. 
He's, look, he's looking like a good player with Joe Thompson. Well done. Let's watch the replay. Now this is, oh, I think, yeah, I think it was Hyde, doesn't he? He lays it off to Thompson. Thompson charges forward here. He's had a few chances today. And he just booms it into the right-hand side of the net. It's 1-0 and we are looking like a good side so far. Come on, County. They haven't even had a shot. Nearly 60% possession for us. We are, we are dominating this game. Ologu now sprays it out to Thompson. Thompson is going to have another shot. He does and the keeper saves it. He is looking like a cracking player. Corner ball now for Thompson. Is he going to flow it in or is he going to ping it to the edge? He pings it to the edge towards Roberts. Roberts gets a shot off. He does, but uh, I think he thinks he's playing rugby today. Well, that's the first half over. I'll be honest with you, what a joy that was. The way we ended last season with the form we were in, and you know, I was a bit gutted by it. But, you know, you start a new, start a new season, you buy a lot of new players... But I've done my research and I looked and looked and looked. I spent all year looking. Obviously, I didn't bore you with that. And it's just nice to think, hopefully, some of these lads are going to be good players for us at this level. Uh, but that was a brilliant first half. It should be more than 1-0. They've done they've done nothing. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy. So, But I'm going to be calm and chilled out, man. I've just come back off my holidays from Miami. I've still got my holiday shirt on. I'm going to say you've played well, but there's definitely, definitely room for improvement. Okay, stop put kick off the second half. The first half was an absolute joy. Thompson now with a corner. He just keeps spraying it out to Roberts. Roberts must be world famous for having shots from there. And he has a shot, but the keeper got an answer to that. And it's another corner. Thompson now to take. Can he float into the box this time? He does. Ooh. Gary Jones with a free kick now for Southport. We need to defend here now. Show we're a good defensive side too. And oh, brilliant tackle from Monte. Roberts gathers the ball. Pings it forward. Can Hyde get onto it? He's charging forward. Is the big lad. I think he's over six foot. He has a shot. Their keeper is brilliant. We've had 21 shots. 21 we've had. Dominated this game. But at 1-0, it's too scary. 1-0 is too scary. We need to kill it off. The second goal might just do that. Monty on the ball. He finds Roberts. Can Roberts find anyone? No, he pings it well wide. And that is when Roberts lets himself down. Yeah, I can't lie. I am excited for this new season. Um, really want to get a stop put back in the football league. Looking like we're starting well here. And here's Monty on the ball now. Gets tackled by Gary Jones. And is this going to be a southport attack? Or are we going to defend it? Come on, boys. Get to him. Ooh. But yeah, my first season, what a lot of fun that was to make. I mean, I've enjoyed it so much. I've enjoyed joining this community and I've enjoyed making this content. I won't lie. It's been brilliant. And oh, hoo -hoo! what a save from Big Dino. Thank God we got him back for another year. But it's Gary Jones with a corner. Defend it, lads. Headed away. Can a logo get onto the ball? Look up, lad. He looks up and he sprays it all the way out left to Hall now. Hall on the left-hand side. He's got some cracking yellow boots on. He's running forward. He doesn't look like he's looking where he's going now. But he's doing a lovely cross into the box. Ooh. Okay, 20 minutes to go. I've made two substitutions. Um, Jake Hines had a great game, 7.7. .7. He set the goal up. But ah, I just feel like I should give Christian a go. Also, Ryan Hall is not playing that great. So we're going to bring on the famous Abdelay Belbagé. Can the changes make any difference? Brown now with a throw into Thompson. Thompson's had a cracking game. Gets it into the box. Oh, and Ameson has a header. Oh, from that angle, it looked like it might go in. Okay, McCarthy on the ball now for Southport. Get a foot in, lads. Get a foot in. Dave O'Leary is a big lad. He's got pink boots on. He's only 16. He's brave. Oh, no. Cross ball from Southport. And they've scored an equaliser. They've done nothing all game. Nothing. And they go and score an equaliser. Let's watch the replay. Gary Jones pings it out wide to the other Jones. Crosses it first time. Straight in the goal there. I mean, really? Okay, I've passionately told him I want more. I want I want freaking lot more. I mean, come on. 28 shots and we only got one goal. 60% possession and it's one all. If it's going to be one of them games that we have a lose or draw, we absolutely dominate, then that is not a good thing. Dennis on the ball now. Dennis finds Roberts. Roberts sprays it all the way out to Thompson on the right. Come on, Tomo. Tomo to Dennis. Can Dennis get Oh, Dennis. Come on. It's like 10 minutes left. Five minutes left. Come on, boys. It's going to be a 1-1, isn't it? It's going to be a 1-1. Disappointing, really. For the way we played, 33 shots, 14 on target. Oh, five clear-cut chances, and that's it. Full-time whistle. It's 1-1. So, yeah, that's it. 1-1 away from home against Southport. I mean, they were a team that, that dominated us last year and they did knock us out of the cup. So, you know, we have made an improvement. We absolutely, we absolutely dominated that game. I think we had, what, five clear-cut chances? 
That's five chances we should have scored. If I'm honest, I'm going to be assertive and I say you weren't good enough. And that, this fire, it's fired them up at least, and it? It's fired them up, but oh God, that is disappointing. That. Okay, here's the Vanarama National League after game one. We've all played a game. We're obviously like mid-table because we drew. Yeah, do you know what though? It's not the worst start we could have made. Okay, now the next live com, I'm going to play Eastley because one of my good friends in the community, GWFM, check him out, top lad, Leeds fan, but top lad, he's got a great save with Eastley. So I just thought it'd be quite cool to play him. Well then, that's the end of episode 9, season 2. Um, I enjoyed making the episode. Pity the live con was a 1-1, especially when, when you look at the stats. We absolutely destroyed them, but you know, onwards and upwards for us. I hope you keep enjoying it. I hope I can keep you watching. Um, I, I, thanks for your support. Anyone who does watch, anyone who taps that like button, thank you very much. Because that's just, a, I know what people mean now. It's a sign that, you know, people really are enjoying what you do and it is fun you know you don't make any money out of it it takes a lot of time but i enjoy it and as long as you're enjoying it and people keep enjoying it that's all that matters so one cheeky shout out to someone who's been brilliant who's liking all my stuff and who else who's also got a great save in south america not enough people do saves in south america i think fat man dupe has one in brazil which is really good but yeah his name is Borman plays Borman plays top guy american um, Green Bay Packers fan. I'm going to wear a hat for him next episode. But yeah, thank you, mate, for your support. So I hope to see you back in episode 10, where hopefully we might win the live com. And hopefully we'll start charging up the league. So yeah, have a nice day. Take care. And I'll see you later.